Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon Burbank here, better known as Birdman Burbank, and I personally wanted to give you all uh, a warm Merry Christmas to everyone out there, all your family and friends, and everyone out there that has been supporting uh, me in this journey that I've been going through with this YouTube channel and the promotion of Come Back to Success and everything in between, um, regardless of the uh, just the journey that it's taken me through, towards to getting to where I'm at in my life now. And uh, the purpose of this video is to give you guys encouragement and insight so that you guys can crush your goals, be productive, and be successful in your own way. So with that being said guys, I have a treat for you today. I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be reading the article that I was, uh, that, that I published in Nami Whatcom County um, back in October. So this is some really exciting stuff because um, this is the first article publication that I've done uh, in my career as a writer and I know that there's so much uh, more opportunities that are going to be coming out but this is definitely the, the first of, of, a, of, a, of a journey of uh, opportunities that will continue to grow and sprout through hard work, discipline and dedication and, uh, and a passion as well. So, with that being said, I'll dive right into it. Um, so around a seven minute read, Gen generally, I've read it to so many people now, but uh, basically, here we go. Come back to success, passion pathfinding. The subject of passion pathfinding is pivotal for anyone with a mental health diagnosis who has not given up hope in their pursuit of happiness. Time and time again, we see people give up on themselves when they are faced with a mental health diagnosis. In my book, Come Back to Success, I share with my readers personal experiences of facing trials and tribulations before, during, and after multiple hospitalizations. In this article, I would like to outline steps that family members can take to offer support for a loved one with a mental health condition. Show number one, show love and support by empathizing with what your loved one is experiencing. Number two, accept the realities of the impact the diagnosis, diagnoses is having in their life. Number three, educate yourself about mental illnesses. Number four, practice patience as change and recovery takes work to heal relationships. I personally experienced severe depression, loneliness, and pain from many hospitalizations, recoveries, and relapses. My greatest challenge was starting and sticking with medication regimens. The habit of consuming medications at prescribed times was something I resisted. I did not want to rely on a combination of pills to feel like myself. I experienced a feeling of loss, like there was no sense of direction for my life. Why do I bring this all up? Because living with a diagnosis of bipolar disorder alters but does not define who I am. All of the pain and discomfort that comes with wading through the layers of denial at the onset of my diagnosis has made me learn how to embrace the struggle instead of fighting against it. As I reflect on my journey thus far, I want myself and others to feel empowered to seek out passion pathfinding, despite the obstacles living with the mental illness presents. This concept was developed while writing the book, Come Back to Success, specifically chapter 11. Passion pathfinding is best defined as not allowing your circumstances to prevent you from chasing your passion. I strongly believe that everyone has a passion that can make the world a better place. Going through multiple hospitalizations in the mental health department, living in halfway houses, and attending mental health programs led me to believe that, there, that I have the potential to succeed and make a difference. Passion pathfinding is different for everyone. When you are given a diagnosis, it is up to you to give yourself the acceptance to move forward. The mental health condition can help guide you as you find your passion and purpose on this earth. Societal norms and stigma around mental health also challenged my beliefs as I did not know what to believe in for years. I had to challenge myself to stand up strong again when nobody was around to pick me up. Discovering your passion when faced with a mental illness can feel hopeless. I would like to offer five practical steps that you can use to embark on this journey. Number one, reach out to your family and friends as you discover your options for what you want. Number two, 
reach out to mental health professionals to educate yourself on your diagnosis. Number three, give yourself grace and patience. Success doesn't happen overnight. Number four, take negative experiences as opportunities for growth. Number five, practice allowing yourself to have fun. Feeling positive emotions is okay. Your ability to succeed is there as long as you are willing to put in the effort and see the potential you have. Small victories in life amount to monumental change. When I got out of the hospital, I didn't imagine myself living in Seattle for nine months successfully, making my own income, and supporting my dreams as I continued to write Come Back to Success. What I have discovered is daily input creates the long-term success you wish to achieve. My journey is authentic. Yours is too. Passion pathfinding is what will help get you to where you want to go and help you develop success as you face the ups and downs of being diagnosed with a mental illness like, like bipolar disorder. Many people will question your diagnosis while not supporting your goals and dreams. Ultimately, you are in control of what you choose to believe. For a long time, I tried to be the only support that I have had in my life. As I faced adversity, I started to realize that support is necessary to help create results that are long-lasting and rewarding. Most family members are helpful as they offer you support and want to see you navigate through your diagnosis and are trying to understand what you are dealing with. When I first was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, my mom was supportive through educating herself on the subject, which helped her gain perspective on what I was going through. Success is aided by having someone in your corner who loves you enough to empathize with living with mental illness. Passion pathfinding is something that helps you create and refine yourself in every way. Giving yourself perspective and clarity takes time. Taking calculated risks that are supported by your family and mental health professionals are opportunities for growth on your journey. I encourage you to give yourself space to try something new and find your passion that takes work and time. Sacrifice is something that we all have to recognize when dealing with a mental health diagnosis. The medication might be something that helps you remain stable and in a healthy mental state. Without being stable, there will be limited success that you can expect to maintain. Your body and mind have to be working as a team to deliver results. In sum, Passion Pathfinding gives recommendations to help aid in recovery by looking forward to living a happy life that is well deserved. It starts with the belief that you are in control of your future. As you reflect upon your diagnosis, it is important to recognize that there are things that are out of your control, such as medication management, doctor's appointments, clinician appointments, etc. However, this shouldn't deter anyone from the pursuit of a life marked by wellness, contentment, and support. Boom! There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video and for checking out the article titled Passion Pathfinding. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave, leave them down below in the, uh, in the video for Passion Pathfinding. And uh, I appreciate your support and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one. Merry, Merry Christmas.